Hi you guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Melissa here and today we're talking about habits I wish I knew earlier. These are habits that I wish I started doing a lot sooner in my life so I would have been more ahead and even better than I am now. Although I'm so grateful that these are still things that I have in my life that I do every single day and I've cultivated it with time and effort. I wanted to share these habits that have really changed the game for me in terms of how I think about myself internally and externally. I used to be someone that just went out and partied all the time. I mean, I was young, so of course that was my time to party. And now that I'm a bit older, I kind of value more of a routine lifestyle and having discipline and good habits and i spent like a good year of my life just really cultivating this list that i'm about to tell you guys right now and if you're in a younger stage of your life where you still are going out and partying and just not taking the best care of yourself just know that it's okay it takes time and it takes for you to be tired of your own stuff for you to change you know so it doesn't matter what age you are these habits are gonna help you no matter what and if you can start implementing them earlier in your life the better so the first habit that has changed my life completely is walking i went from being 20 pounds heavier to now being the weight that i am now where i feel a lot more comfortable in my body and my waist is tinier my butt is smaller and my arms aren't so big anymore my cortisol face is basically non-existent i have like you can see my decolletage better and it's all because of walking i didn't do any extraneous exercise like hit workouts didn't really go to the gym that much didn't really lift that much weight none of that all i did was walk for an hour every day and i have seen tremendous benefits not only is this a time where i can connect with myself and listen to podcasts and really think things through and kind of have that mind body connection where i'm doing something aimless but i'm still connecting with with myself internally i'm not out here pushing 300 pounds off my body or squatting the heaviest rack all i'm doing is simply going on a walk enjoying the fresh air looking at the trees my mind is thinking of ideas to create videos for you guys or what's next in my life and i get to have me time where i just check in with myself and also compound that with books and podcasts that I've always wanted to listen to and I just combine those two things and podcast is actually number two on my list listening to podcasts have changed my life because not always do we have time to read books but podcasts a lot of the times have the lessons and the wisdoms that books have just in different forms like I'm talking to you guys right now sharing my wisdom of what I've experienced through living life and I'm able to articulate it with you guys because of the podcast that I've listened to, the YouTube videos, the audiobooks, all those things through the time that I've aside for my walks and also listening to podcasts. I feel like the best podcasts are the ones that have the best guests. So I'm going to list a couple podcasts here on the side for you guys to check out. I love listening to people that have more knowledge than me and that know more than me and that have maybe written a book or have gone to school for the things that they are talking about. Nutritionists, psychologists, dietitians. I love learning more about the human body, our brain and things like that. So tapping into podcasts that really hone in on the specific reasons why you are the way that you are and I am the way that I am based off of human design are super interesting to me and there's a lot of stories out there of people who thought they probably wouldn't make it or that have had a tougher life than me and they were able to be resilient and get to the other side so it's really just an inspirational time where I connect with myself as well as bettering myself why not combine working out with self-care I feel next is journaling I actually started journaling in 2021 so I have three journals so far that are filled from page to page that represents each year of my life and journaling is so important because eventually when you journal about the same situation situations or wanting to be in a different place or anything of that sorts you eventually take the effort and make changes in your life to get closer to your goals when you don't journal you forget what it is that you wanted last year or the year before but when you journal every day and you write down the things that you want it reminds your subconscious mind that hey melissa is actually trying to work towards being a content creator or being an entrepreneur so let's make more possibilities available to her by creating certain ideas, being creative, things like that. It's like having a cloud over your head. You just feel like there's so many things I'm thinking about at once and I don't have an outlet. Well, journaling should be your outlet. 
allow your journal to be a safe space for you to write whatever it is that you want i like to talk to god talk about what i'm grateful for think of ideas for youtube and tiktok like anything that's going on in my life is going in a journal and i'm thinking about it from a bird's eye view because i don't want to be so me focused and have a victim mentality about certain things when in reality i can take a step back and really look at it from a different lens and perspective is really everything because something that you might deem as the worst thing ever or terrible i can then think about it as you know something that's helping me that is for my benefit and that maybe the universe or god is putting in my place for me to learn a lesson so being able to have time set aside a day for you to write down what it is that you're feeling what you want how you want to show up in the day and what you're grateful for is super important you'll be able to achieve your goals sooner if you write them down i'll put up the statistics for that because i know that when you write down your goals and the things that you want to accomplish you are way more likely to accomplish it this is my journal right here i love it i write in it every single day she's like cloth material i got her from amazon linked in my amazon storefront if you guys are interested i I am almost done with her and this is my 2024 journal i just got her in july and i've already written this much that's how much i journal because i need a place to just put my words down on paper and not leave it up in my head and kind of creating like this whirlwind of anxiety and overthinking and all that stuff next i started to really romanticize reading so before i would be somebody that reads like one or two books per year and then never read again maybe in the beginning of the year i would love reading so much and then after that not never pick it up again but i've started to incorporate reading as my daily routine in my nighttime routine i put on a reading playlist that i'll also link down below if you guys want really make it a vibe for myself so i feel like the key to make me get to do things i have to make it a vibe i have to romanticize it so for reading i turn off all my lights i put my phone somewhere else i don't think about my phone at all this is again me time and i turn on a reading playlist that doesn't have any words in it it's really just some lo-fi beats maybe some jazz things like that and I play it on the background of my iPad where I'm reading. So I like to read on my iPad because I get to download books for free. If you didn't know that, you can download books for free onto whatever device you want to use. So a laptop, a phone, or your iPad. You just type in the title of the books and then also type in PDF at the end of it. And sometimes it'll pop up, sometimes it won't. Really depends. But I like to do that because at least on my iPad, I could read at night with the screen being so bright. Maybe I'll have a cup of tea next to my bed while I'm reading and then I shut my eyes once I'm tired and I turn off my iPad and I throw it at the bottom of my bed and don't think about it until tomorrow. That's kind of how I have to go about things because if I don't romanticize it, then I will never pick up the habit again. I'll just probably do it once and then never do it again. But if I make it like a vibe, all of a sudden, I want to do it every day. All of a sudden, I'm like, wow, I love this. Yes. And that kind of goes in with my next habit is no phones before bed. I'm trying to do this in the morning as well. So no phones before bed and also in the morning time. I like to put my phone away and then grab my iPad. And then, like I said, I like to read books while I'm trying to go to sleep at like 10 p.m. You guys, I set up my nighttime routine very early because i need to wake up at a reasonable time every single day and i'm someone that needs like eight to nine hours of sleep so i set my nighttime routine up for the earliest time possible 9 30 10 things like that and i don't use my phone at all and then when i wake up in the morning i will not use my phone i won't even look at it for real until i'm done with journaling so I'll wake up, brush my teeth, do my skincare and all of that. And then I'll open up my journal, open up my planner, and then I'll start writing. Because that way, at least I know all the thoughts that I'm putting down are my thoughts. They're not somebody else's. It's not a TikTok song that I got stuck in my head. Or maybe I opened up Instagram and there's a news article about whatever the fuck. Like, no. I try to really limit my phone use during those peak hours because that's when your subconscious mind is the most open. So if you're going on your phone right when you wake up or right before you go to sleep that's what your subconscious mind is going to um take in 
and whatever you're feeding it is going to believe and then that's how you create the day so if i wake up and i look at my phone and it says that all capricorns are lazy now i'm going into the day thinking all capricorns are lazy so why the fuck do i even try that doesn't even make sense why would someone say that <laughs> and now my day is ruined hmm. you see how that works so i really have to be really mindful of my phone usage because you don't know what's going to pop up especially now with for you pages you don't control what you see anymore you kind of just are to the will of the app you know what i mean and then another thing that has helped me with my weight loss like i said before i was 20 pounds heavier in the beginning of the year in 2024 i really decided to be disciplined and take my health a lot more seriously so i started fasting and that has helped me tremendously i still fast to this day i started off with fasting little by little you know until like 10 and then 12 and then 2 3 that's how I started getting into fasting and then once I lost the majority of my weight that I wanted to lose I kind of started cutting back so I started eating earlier at like 1 12 now I would say I eat around 1 and 12 and I love fasting because it puts your body in ketosis without being on keto so I don't know about you guys but I could never do keto I love bread way too much I love carbs and sugars so i really can't put myself through keto and then do it for the rest of my life i like doing lifestyle changes that i know i can implement when i'm 60 you know let's just say there's no point in doing like fad diets but fasting is easy you just literally drink water you wait your turn wait until it's time for you to eat maybe you drink some green tea or black um coffee and then just wait just be patient fill up your days with other things next is spirituality so right now i'm actually in my journey of getting closer to god i'm starting to read the bible from the beginning to really get a grasp as to what has happened in the bible and what i can learn from past mistakes or gain some wisdom and knowledge from my ancestors and god who wants the best for me and i know that he does and i want to be in his word every day making sure that i am practicing what he has preached so spirituality is something that i've just kind of started doing as one of my habits but i already love because i feel connected to something that i can't even see for real you know we can't really see the universe or god or our angels or anything but we sense them we know that they're around when you know we see synchronicities and places and coincidence that people like to say that oh that doesn't mean anything it's just a coincidence no it means something because nothing in this world is a coincidence and i think that that is really special and something to nurture in yourself we all have the ability to connect with god and connect with the universe within we just have to tap into it so right now spirituality is something that i'm getting really deeper and closer to through meditation and through reading the bible and journaling and doing bible studies so i really highly suggest that you guys practice that as well as one of your habits because that way you have an anchor something that you can always go back to when things start to get rough a small friend group i am always notorious of having like basically no friends i have like two or three people that i really consider a friend because i like to nurture my relationships i'd rather have a quality group of friends versus like a thousand millions like not so important group of friends like why would i spend my time having surface level conversations with 10 people when i could just have really deep meaningful conversations with three people that really know me and i really know them and i know what they like and i know what they don't like and they could say the same thing about me so if you're someone that just like naturally befriends people all the time i highly suggest to really cut down your group into something a little bit more smaller and e and better to manage because it's easier for you to have a connection with somebody that actually knows you and so when problems arise you can count on that person you know you're not wondering like oh i hope this person shows up for me and i hope that person shows up to me no you have like two or three people that you know for a fact are going to show up for you because you show up for them and you pour into them the same way they pour into you so it's super important to really have quality people next to you and not just quantity for the sake of having friends and then i also want to talk about diets if i were to redo my 20s again i would have a really strong diet so something that i know that i can go back to time and time again when 
you know, maybe I go on vacation and didn't eat the best. Or maybe I had, you know, a lot of sweet tooth or I was on my period and I wanted chocolates here and all the time. Having a diet that you can go back to where you know it's not strenuous, it's not taking a lot out of you, it's not something that's difficult, it's actually pretty simple and easy for you is super beneficial because you want to cultivate that tool of self-control discipline not really um wanting that gratification right now so delayed gratification you know having a diet that works for you so that could be pescatarian mediterranean um anti-inflammatory high fiber high protein there's so many different diets nowadays and you have to pick whichever one works for you but you have to go through that journey of that health and wellness journey to know what it is that works with your body type so for me an anti-inflammatory diet or a high protein high fiber diet is always going to be my best bet especially for my body type and then my last habit is for you to get cute get dressed look as presentable as possible you want to look your best every single time you leave the house do your makeup do your hair get your nails done make sure that what you are presenting yourself as is how you feel about yourself on the inside so if you know you a baddie girl walk every single day as the baddie that you are go outside wearing the clothes that make you feel good and that represents your personality and who you are as a person for me i love dressing in timeless chic clothing because i know on the inside i am someone that loves tradition i'm classical i like having a set neutral tone palette for my outfits and for my makeup i like something a little bit more neutral a little bit more natural something that just really emphasizes my beauty because i'm already a beautiful girl and i just want my makeup to enhance that and my hair even though i have curly hair i don't like it to be too frizzy if it's too frizzy then i put it in like a sleek back ponytail or do something of that sort and put it into some sort of protective style because that way every single time i leave the house i look like me i feel like me and i present myself to the best of my abilities when you feel down and out about yourself and you don't like the way that you look and every single day you're like what's the point of putting on makeup and what's the point of looking cute i hate my life and everything sucks and you're just going to attract more of that energy your subconscious mind is going to believe that you know melissa doesn't care about her appearance she goes outside where with her bonnet on she goes outside without doing her makeup and her nails are always chipped and she always looks bad because you know what that's what she thinks of herself she has low self-worth getting ready every day shows that you care and you want to care don't be that person that just pretends that they don't care oh i'm gonna look ugly because i don't care i'm gonna be fat because i don't care when deep down inside you know that you care you know that you want people to look at you and be like dang her body look good and dang she's a beautiful girl you know that you want that for yourself so don't act like you don't care you're just disguising the real um emotions that you have because you just want to stay comfortable you want to believe that you don't care because it's keeping you in a comfortable state in a little bubble that you know everyone treats me bad because i look ugly and because i don't care about myself and that's where i'm going to stay because it's familiar but sometimes you have to do things differently to get different results if you start working out you start implementing diets into your routine and other habits that i just talked about in this video you're going to transform the world is going to receive you in a different way trust me i know because this also happened to me when i started to care about myself internally and what i put into my body how i spent my time making sure that i am expanding my knowledge the world started reflecting to me in a different perspective because i was able to see all the beauty in life versus always you know thinking about the negative like oh i don't have this i don't have that i should be here why am i not getting this i don't think that way anymore because now i know that there's a perfect timing for everything my spirituality helps me my diets fasting reading books having a routine something that i can always lean on when things start to go crazy and haywire in your life you want to be able to have habits that bring you down to earth and that grounds you no one is here to tell you to turn off that tv or to get dressed or to go shower there's no parents anymore you know now we're getting into that stage of life and that age where we have to parent ourselves we have to tell ourselves to go shower put that phone down go read a book, go study. We have full autonomy of our lives. So if we're not the one that's saying all these things to ourselves, then no one's coming to save us. No one's coming. It's just you. So you can be who you want to be 
But at the end of the day, just know that there is consequences for every action. If you decide to sit down and lay in your bed and scroll, even though you might not see the consequences of that action, just know that every single thing that you do is a vote for the person that you want to become. I love that quote because it reminds me that even the little things that I do every single day, it adds up to a big vote of who is Melissa, you know, at her core, who is she? And that's kind of what I want to leave you guys with in this video to know that just have Habits are important, routines are important, and the way that you feel about yourself is really important. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please give me a big thumbs up, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, and comment down below some habits that you have that maybe I should implement in my life. Bye guys!